If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football-themed break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, Every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, Every live break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs live break really room. Tell them, boys. Going completely silent. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Ultimate Autographs live break room. Thank you guys very much for joining us today. Excited to be here. 1 p.m. Central Standard Time start rather than the 12 p.m. Central Standard Time start. Guys, thank you very much for your patience. Earlier, we had a little bit of a hiccup. But we made the, it. With the uh, website we used to track all of our orders. This chair looked a little bit tall. Do you have your desired chair height? Absolutely. For every chair? Always the highest. Yeah, usually the highest. Always ones. the highest. Guys, thanks for joining us. I'm Donnie. That's Dave. We're excited to be here today in the UA Live Break Studio. Like I said, thank you guys very much for your patience earlier uh, with some technical difficulties and whatnot. But we're here. We're ready to go. I think we're ready to, to rock. Dave's all caught we up. We are there, ready to rock. Oof. Got We've a couple pre-fills. Got a couple pre-fills in the Flag Day jersey. The Dan, the Man, and Mini double box break did fill up, and uh, we're working on number two now. We have Flag Day Mixer posted as well. That first one did fill up. And uh, we're ready to go. Let's let's get this thing going. What do you say, Dave? I say let's do it. Let's cool. just do the darn thing. Let's get our dice roller for today. Nick P said the dice roller for today will be number nine. Nick thinks it's going to be number nine. Let's check. Here we go. It's going to be two. So not that <laughs> close, but close. Rolling it again. Five and four is A nine. nine. Nick, you dog. Woo! A nine. Good call, Nick. Nikki P with the guess. Five and four gives us a nine every time we go random. We're going to run it nine times. Whether it's a top spot wins break, whether it's a divisional break, or whatever break we decide to do. Nestor, what's up, dude? You got box 12. That's good. Thank you very much. All right. Nick is psychotic. <laughs> is that the right word there? Or psychic? I think, I think it's psychic. Right. I think you're looking for psychic. 
two very different things. Yeah, please don't screw that up anymore. <laughs> Nick may be psychotic. We don't know that for sure. All right, let's uh, let's quickly break down what we're gonna do for Flag Day. Flag Day is a fun series. Yesterday or Monday was actually Flag Day, so uh, we got a little bit of the promos left over from that. We're gonna go ahead and run the video for you guys. So go ahead and check it out as to what you guys can look forward to in the Flag Day promos. June 14th is Flag Day, the day that commemorates the adoption of the Stars and Stripes by the United States in 1777. It's like the 4th of July, but a lot less cool. Even though it's a nationally recognized holiday, nothing special has ever happened because of Flag Day. Ultimate Autographs is about to change that with four special Flag Day Mystery Box Series. One Jersey Mystery Box Series, one Replica Helmet Series, one Authentic Helmet Series, and one Mixer Series. There are 200 boxes in total. Each box contains a little yellow flag. Written on each flag is the description of one of five possible replica or authentic helmets signed by past and present stars. When you see the name of the player on your flag, you can choose to be entered into a top spot break for their signed lid, or you can choose to forego your spot and walk away with $10 in UA cash. Do your patriotic duty and purchase a specially marked Flag Day mystery box today at ultimateautographs.com. All right, there's a little bit of a breakdown as the Flag Day video comes to an end there. We're going to go ahead and randomize our divisions. If you guys would like to give us a box number for the Flag Day jerseys. Flag Day jerseys in the room. We have 39, 40, and 41. 39, 40, 41 for Flag Day jerseys. If you guys would like to give us a box number, let's run it for today. We got Aaron down to Danny Cash. Aaron down to Danny Cash. Here we go. Aaron Whiteman giving us box number 40. Aaron, thank you very much for calling out that box number. We appreciate it, as always. Uh, Michael up to Aaron Whiteman. Box number 40, Dave. Here we go. Here we go. Which one are we doing here first? Where are the Flag Day jerseys? Flag Day jerseys. Down low, I believe. Oh, yeah. How did I not see those? Blind as a bat. Literally looking at me in the face. All right, flag day snake, promo time. Let's do it. What's up? If it was a snake, it would have bit you. You ever heard that term? No. Seems very Iowa of you. Actually, Any Dutch Packers yet? Uh, I'm not sure if there's ever been a Dutch Packer. You'd have to look that up on Google. 40 of 50. See what I did there? Oh, okay. <laughs> I actually didn't even see that. Steve, we'll try to get you a Dutch item for the Packers. We have one today. We have one today. We'll break that out in a little bit after we break some boxes. Here we go. First one is a... Yeah, here we go. First flag is the Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott Authentic. And the jersey is a Dermonte Dawson. So we're looking at a Pittsburgh Steeler. Pittsburgh Steeler. Who owns the North? Daniel Cash. Daniel Cash with the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Dermonte Dawson. Here you go, Daniel. You know what they say. Dermonte Dawson. No one ever questions that Steelers defense. Who says that? I do. <laughs> AFC North. Danny Cash. Danny Cash, let me know if you'd like $10 in UA Cash or you would like the top spot in the Dak Prescott Authentic. 6 one -oh. One. What a good Sharpie. <laughs> wow, dude, this is you a... You like that one? This Sharpie is mint. Look at this handwriting. Sheesh! Sheesh! All right, Daniel Cash. Opening up the hits. Dermani Dawson has a really nice autograph. Very clean. He's one of the older guys. Takes his time. Writes it nice. It's It's... Seems consistent among the older yeah. players to really take pride in that autograph. Yeah. And I AFC like that. North, Daniel Cash. Danny Cash, when you hop on, let me know if you'd like that Dak Prescott authentic spot or $10 in UA Cash. Let's do a Flag Day Mixer next. We'll get into some Dan the Mans after that. What, is, do we fill up Mixer number two, Dave? Let me see. 
Mixer think, number two. I think we're getting close on that one. We got James Stanhope, Nessa Rodriguez with three spots. Michael Lepre, Bill Norton, Robert B. Ready to rock and roll here for Flag Day. Mixer number one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. Michael Lepre owns the bottom spot. And James Stanhope holds the top spot. We got Slime. That's Robert Boulay. He's got the NFC West and the AFC North. He called out box number 44. Let's rock. Dave. Donnie. Name me one better song than Metro Station's Shake It. You can't. Here we go. 44 of 50. Best of luck, everybody. Thank you guys for the fill. And away we go. And away we go. Our hit is a Kyler Murray authentic flag. So you can either pick the authentic Kyler Murray. Let's see what the item is. Let's see what the item is. Looks like we have a jersey. Ooh, that's a guy we don't see very often. How about Heinz Ward? How about Heinz Ward for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Two straight Steelers hits to start the afternoon. Heinz Ward, number 86, wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Super Bowl champ, Hall of Famer, AFC North for Robert B. And Robert B., let me know if you want that $10 in UA Cash or the Kyler Murray top spot entry. Robert called out the box number and knocked down the hit. Hey, Robert. Robert said, I'm on YouTube, no worries, just letting y'all know, can't see y'all on Facebook. Uh, it says we're streaming to Facebook, Tony. Thank you for letting me know. Aaron didn't seem to have a problem calling out the box number from Facebook. Uh, you guys let me know if you have a problem with Facebook. Wow, this Sharpie. <laughs> I I'm so happy you're liking it so much. Wow, dude. This is literally a game changer. Oh, all right, Donnie. I think we're all caught up. Heinz Ward jersey wants the Kyler spot. Great choice. Rob, you got a couple spots in this Kyler. Not sure what this spot is. Mixer. Donnie, it's official. Yeah. We're caught up. Yeah. We're in. And only the Dan the Man full will probably close it in on a couple other breaks there. Yes, sir. In terms of filling up. Dan the Man number two. Slime says, I have two words for you after last night. Two letters. KD. You're not wrong. Oh, you're so wrong. By being so right. You're so right. If you had to guess, how many total flag day boxes are left? Total flag day boxes? We have a lot of the authentics and the reps. Mixers, we have about 15. Jerseys, we have about 10. I would say about 50. You say about 50? Get a decent guess? All right, let's get two box numbers going for the Dan the Man. Oops. Mini. 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. Double box break. Guys can pick two for the mini helmet breaks. This is a black box mini helmet series. Read off some of these headliners, too, before we jump into this series. Fun series. Dan the Man, one of the best quarterbacks ever. And Dan Marino, also a movie star, was in a couple feature films such as Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Slime 14, thank you very much. Headliners, Bo Jackson, Carson Wentz, Dan Marino, Deion Sanders, Justin Jefferson, OJ Simpson, Ray Lewis, and Troy Aikman. Pretty cool. Laces out, Dan. 14, and give me one more.
Looks like we sold on Dan the Man 2. What's up, Henry? Henry ba 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 Fourteen, give me one more box. Sixteen, cool. Fourteen, sixteen, you got it. Fourteen and six. All right, y'all, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. Dan the man. Let's see if you can pull some headliners and break number one for this break. Okay. Okay. All right. Four-time AFC champion. Head coach. Okay. Never hit a Super Bowl. Was in four straight, though. Mr. Marv. Marv Levy. There we go. We have Marv in the office. We have Marv in-house. That was cool. Travis. There you go, Travis. 95 years old? I believe so. Still spry Still as can be. Still doing That's cool. Can you imagine? I can't do anything at 95 years old. <laughs> I can hardly do anything at 25. Right. <laughs> Marv Levy, Hall of Fame inscription. Hall of Fame inductee as a coach, which is pretty cool. You have to yes. be successful. You have to be successful. Gotta be a successful coach to make it as a Hall of Fame coach. There's some people out there that say that is one of the best teams ever to take the field in the NFL. Definitely one of the best teams to never not win. Or to never win. I, I think they would have to be the best. Like that four year stint of never winning a Super Bowl, but always make I mean that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Let's go. Got a good one? Let's go. Come on. Let's have ourselves a Wednesday afternoon after a little bit of a morning debacle. We're breaking headliners. We got a Falcons. Let's go, little Dion Sanders. There we go. Dion, Dion. Prime time, Sanders, baby. baby. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Chris a Bartletto. Silver Sharpie on that? I like that. Chrissy Barletto takes it. Seabar. Chris. Nice hit. Look at that. Look at this. Clean. Clean as can be. Put this in a museum. <gasps> Headliner. Headliner for you. Back at COA in there. I wonder what he was wearing. He usually wears some cool outfits to the signing. Kind of let me down. He was wearing a blue zip-up underneath what looks like a black jacket. While he was signing? Headphones, mask on. He usually wears, He's in like, the zone. He usually wears some cool stuff. I've seen some pictures of him signing before. With He always has headphones on. I get that. I mean, but if you don't have headphones on, people are going to try to talk to you. I'm not going to lie, man. It's hard to wear headphones at a signing because there's a lot of specific stuff that you have to do on the helmets. True. I mean? That like, is hey, true man, can with you put, the inscription. Can you put this inscription on this one? Can you not put the inscription on this one? You have to take your headphones off every single time. You every time, probably, yeah. probably makes them a little bit angry. Neon, Dion Sanders, Chrissy B. Nice hit, dude. All right, we filled up Dan the Man number two. We're going to run Dan the Man number two next. Uh, Dan the Man two. We just did fourteen and six. Pink. Pink. Eleven, thirteen, and fifteen. Nikki P down to Jeffrey Coleman. All right, Dan the Man. Let's go. Dan the Man number two. Yeah, all of those teams are good. Thanks, amigo. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, number nine. Here we go. And away we go. Best of luck, guys. Let's do it. Dan, the man number two, is ready to fire. Katrina, Nick, Nick, Joseph, Jeffrey, Jonathan, JC, and Charles. A lot of first names that start with J in this break. Joseph, Jeffrey, Jonathan, JC, and then Charlie, of course. Can't forget Charlie. Can't sleep on Charlie there. Dan, the man. Number two, let's get two box numbers going. 11, 13, or 15. Any good stuff going on ESPN right now? I don't think so, right? There wasn't a ton of headlines. The Stan Box Van, Nets game was huge. Stan Van Gundy fired after one season. Really? 11 out of 50. 11 out of 50. Yes, done. They made, I think they made a play. No, he doesn't. 11, 15, we have 13. We can do 17. Here we go. 11. Dan the man, number 11. We got Donnie. Woo How about two straight breaks with a headliner? There we go. Orenthal James Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. JC Cardenas. Oh, I love that. There you go, JC. Orenthal. I would have gone by that. I would not have gone by OJ. OJ is so much cooler, it's unbelievable. I don't know. Orenthal is pretty cool. You'd have to you have to be unbelievable to go by Orenthal in the NFL. I think he was good enough to do it. Or. And fall. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. You know what, dude? I'm happy you did that because I didn't have anything else to say. <laughs> Started that sentence, didn't know where it was going, huh? Oh, that's funny. OJ Simpson. OJ for JC. That's a pretty cool pun, huh? Love to see it. Now 15 of 50. After this, guys, I'm going to show off the Dutch auction item for today. Little Miko Hardman Chiefs Mini. Ooh, okay. Eclipse 2. Okay. Show that off after the Dan the Man 2. Love that. I want to get through some of these pre-fills. Yeah, I think this is the last one we okay, got. Okay, cool. Cool, that's perfect then. Yeah. We have a personal for Nestor as well. Yes, we do. Here we go. Next one. Oh, wow. Back-to-back -back jacks for the Buffalo Bills. An interesting one, a guy's name I mess up every single time. I'm not gonna mess it up today. You got it. it says AJ Epineza. Epineza. You like that. AJ Azarazovas. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Is that a double for JC? JC. Taking two home. Straight to the bank. Nice little pair in there. So JC hit two guys with two letter first names. Checks out. AJ and OJ for JC. Two bills. A lot of J's flying around here. Oh, yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah. Nice hits, JC. Nope. There we go, JC. Good pull. Great pull. All right, let me... Let me... Did we get a uh, box number from yes, we did. Mr. 12. Nestor? I already put it in there. Nice. You're the man. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. Put the Dutch auction item up on the page for you guys. Let you guys take a look at that for today. Should be up on the page. It's a Miko Hardman mini helmet. 
take a look at the brake page and let me show it off after we get that post. It should be on the site. It is, yes, it's at a hundred bucks. Miko Hardman Eclipse. Speed Mini, let's see where we got, ooh. Now the idea behind the Dutch auctions, idea behind the Dutch auctions that there's a damaged item. Uh, imperfect item, not suitable for our mystery boxes. This one does have a little bit of an imperfection there near the top, across the top there. Nicole Hardman, Kansas City Chiefs, Eclipse. See the, Dave, can you take a look at your screen and see if you can see that on the top of the helmet there? Yeah, you can, right, yeah, you can see that. Keep wiggling it back and forth yeah. and it'll, it shows up. Right. Just a little smudge right on the, right on the dome. Guys, just really quick, I'm gonna play the Dutch auction video, guys, for you so you truly understand how Dutch auctions work and the premise behind them. Introducing Ultimate Autographs Dutch Auction. So, you're probably wondering, what is Ultimate Autographs Dutch Auctions and how do Dutch auctions work? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. Every once in a while, an oopsie happens, somewhere between the item being signed and the item arriving at Ultimate Autographs. These oopsies come in many shapes and sizes, like scratches, minor dents, or something very small that you can usually only see if you really pay attention. Because Ultimate Autographs prides itself on only providing collectors with the best of the best, we do not put these items in any of our mystery boxes, nor do we list them on our website. However, we know there are savvy collectors who are not worried about a tiny little scratch, if it means they can get a big name for very cheap. Therefore, we're going to Dutch auction these items with minor defects. When one of these items becomes available, it will be Dutch auctioned during the UA Live Breaks broadcast you're watching. As the show progresses, the price of the item will slowly lower until it hits rock bottom price. If you want to add the item to your collection, you can either wait until it hits rock bottom price, or you can snag it early, if you fear another collector in the room is interested in the item. To purchase the item at its current price, simply purchase it on the UA Live Break Room page, like you would any UA Live Break spot. We hope you enjoyed this exciting game. Let the Dutch auctions begin. Veel geluk. All right, hopefully that uh, video helped you guys out a little bit with the Dutch auction video. That does decrease in price every 10 minutes. Right now that Miko Hardman with the smudge on the top is at 100 bucks. 10 minutes or so, we'll drop it down and down until we find a, a suitor at that bottom dollar price. Last night, Joe and Matt did three Dutch auction items. Holy smokes. Three. Love that. Love to see it. We got Nestor. For the personal, he's got box number 12, Dan the Man, Mini Helmet Series. Nestor, good luck, my man. Hopefully we pull you a banger here on your personal. This is a pretty good hit, I'm not going to lie. I don't... Hey, JC, you're welcome, man. Thank you. Nestor, I think you really like this one. This is a very unique item. We don't see his autograph ever, really. This is probably one of the first times I've pulled his autograph. Uh... Kind of a Swiss Army knife individual. I've seen him play every single position on the offensive side of the ball. Probably a little bit of defense, too. I think he does punt return, kick return, tight end, fullback, running back, quarterback, wide receiver, Taysom Hill. There it is. Let's go. Probably play every single position. Like offensive line, linebacker, corner, everything. safety. Nestor, this is a nice little mini for your personal... Taysom Hill. Very excited to see what the Saints do with their little little dilemma at the quarterback situation right now. It'll be very, very interesting. Taysom. Taysom Hill rocking that number seven got paid. But a lot of it is incentive based, I believe. Extremely incentive based. Yeah. <laughs> Steely Dan is the man. Steely Dan. Who do we have for this week's U.S. Open winner, Dave? Uh, oh, oh man, Donnie, I don't know. Huh? You know, be really cool. Is if Phil won it. Yeah? That would be electric. All right. I don't yeah. think it's going to happen. So, Wingfoot is extremely difficult. Yeah. I think I saw... I'm sorry, they're playing at Torrey Pines. It's similar to Wingfoot in that it's really difficult. 
in that the rough is like I saw the rough. Crazy long. The rough is unbelievable. You can, like it's like uh, basically like out of bounds territory on a normal right. golf course. Right. It's nuts. Um, Aaron says box twenty four for the past and present. We got Thomas. Any relation there, Aaron and Thomas? We got a first timer and Thomas Whiteman. Take that. Thomas, thanks for jumping in on some breaks, my man. Good luck in your first ever UA Live break. Uh, Yeti Can't See says Ashke. Ashke. Is he in it? Did he qualify? Did he qualify? All right, here we go. Box 24, past and present. Anybody else with some guesses in the chat? Oh, he qualified through sectional? Okay. How about Doug Gim, Brad? Doug Gim? Who's going to be the low am? Maybe Doug Gim? Maybe a little... You know who I could see breaking through and winning this week? Who's that, Donnie? Jordan Spieth? I'd like to see Speed get one. I can see that. He's a Genghis kid. Just because I think he needs it, you know? <sighs> Little Jordan Speed piece. I can see it. Put your money on it. 24, Rory first, Will Zalatoris second. Oh, that would be awesome. I'd oh, be all can about that. Will Zalatoris. You can bet first and second. You think Rory could win? I want I want Will Zalatoris first. I want a Bryson Brooks <sighs> final round playoff roll. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Pump it into my veins. <laughs> Dude, that would be had, nuts. I mean, Dave Portnoy would have to just be following them. It, it would be right the, along the whole. It thing. would be the biggest viewership golf moment probably in the last since Tiger Woods was like in his dominant Tiger Woods yeah. era, or or since he won the Masters, I would say. There we go. Yeah, since that's his, that was probably win, the most. If we had a Brooks, Bryson, highest rated final round pairing in the final group. Woo! Woo-hoo! Wow. That would be awesome. Pass the present jersey. Best of luck, everybody. We got a Beckett COA. And we have a ooh, little Super Bowl champion right here with Brett Favre. Hey, Steve, you want to stay around and pick this one up, too? We have uh, Mark Tremura. Mark Tremura was one of Brett Favre's favorite targets. This one heads to the NFC North, and it's going to be Aaron Whiteman. Aaron Whiteman takes an NFC North pull. It is Mark hey, Chmura. Aaron. Mark Chmura. Not sure if him and Thomas are related, but I guess there's probably going to be a little bit of bragging rights between the two now. <laughs> What's up, Steve? All right, Donnie. Yeah. I've got a shocking one for you. Okay. The highest rating ever golf major was the 1997 Masters. Tiger. Was that Tiger? I think so. That seems almost too early. 1997, after that, we got 2001 Masters. Tiger. That one's definitely Tiger. And after that, 2010. What happened in 2010? I don't know. I'm sure Tiger was also very, very relevant then too. Thank you, Steve. So all the Masters. Masters takes the cake of the golf Masters. Aaron, let's go. First the win. Golf nice. majors, excuse me. Aaron is the winner. Got the bragging rights on my bro. Okay, I'd love to see it. There you go, Aaron. Love to see it. Uh, let's see. 1997 Masters win. Tiger Woods. He won by 12 shots. In 1997? 12 strokes. What about wow. 2001, right? Yeah, 2001 was the other one. Tiger Woods. Checks out. 
What's the highest out. highest viewed sports game ever? List of most watched television broadcasts. Are you talking American or international? Because I bet cricket Whoa. would be shockingly up there. Well, you that's a good guess. However, soccer too. We have the 2012 Summer Olympics, and we have the 2016 Summer Olympics. Okay. And then the 2018 World Cup. World Cup. Makes sense. 3.6 billion people. It's almost, that is almost half the world. Watch right? it. Yeah. Yeah. Half of the entire human race. That's insane. And I always forget about the ratings. Is that televisions that it's airing on? Or do they calculate... Like, I mean, you wa you're watching the TV. No one watches the Olympics by themselves. Right, right. Right. That's 3.6 individual stations. Is that television? I think that is television. Television, right? Television broadcast estimated audience. It's insane. Let's see if Estimated have... audience sounds like they probably factor in average person watching per television. Let me see what with the uh, the most the highest watched United States. Uh, looks like. I mean, it's got to be the Super Bowls. Muhammad Ali versus Leon Spinks beats like. Recent Super Bowls? Muhammad Ali versus Larry Holmes. What? That's insane. Think about it, Dave. These are only United States things. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just shocked that it's not a Super Bowl. So this is actually the highest viewed television broadcasts. Because I was like... I was looking, and you've got the Michael Jackson memorial service on here, and I was like, well, but it's everything. It's just everything, not even sports. Wow. I mean, so I guess that 20, makes sense. Like 2012 Summer Olympics are the most most viewed broadcast ever. That in the 2016 tied for 3.6 billion people. It's insane. That is almost unfathomable. Wow. Sports makes the world go round, Donnie. Dude, Muhammad Ali's. All right, I'm gonna. This says the most popular, most watched sporting events. Nah, that's not what I want. All right, here we go. What's going on, Dusty? Dusty! Happy Wednesday to you. Glad you were able to make it. I thought we were gonna miss you on your lunch because we had a little delay. How are you we doing got, today? We got five spots left in the Danny Dimes Platinum Helmet Break, and we have... You want to give a full rundown, Donnie? We got eight spots, seven spots, and a lot of stuff. I'm gonna, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to quickly lower that price of the Miko Hardman as well. Go ahead and give him a breakdown. I got you. We got past and present wide open with eight spots. Starting lineup, seven spots there. We've got Danny Dimes, our Platinum Series with five spots, as Donnie just said. Flag Day Mixer and Flag Day Authentic, both wide open with eight spots there. Flag Day Replica's got six spots. Flag Day Jersey is wide open. Our Panini One also wide open. And our Dan the Man has seven spots left. Dan the Man, number three, double box break. So we are open for business. And then the Dutch Auction, of course. Dutch Auction is posted. That's at 90 bucks for the Miko Hardman Mini. And there's only one of those. Once it's gone, it is it's gone. gone. It's gone. So, so here we go. So if you like the price, breaking news. Uh -oh. you ready for this? Is it good? Not good. No. Not good. Why? Kawhi Leonard may have torn an ACL. I did see he was hurt. It's been a whirlwind in the NBA news cycle Wednesday, but the news that Kawhi Leonard is likely out for the remainder of the playoff series against the Utah Jazz is arguably the biggest development of the day. After losing the first two games, Leonard and the LA Clippers held court at home and suddenly looked like a threat to win it all. Leonard was playing unbelievable, averaging 30 points a game, and now he is dealing with an ACL injury. And now it's, it's so it's tied 2-2, right? 
think so. Game five tonight. It is 2-2, two, two, and they played a 9-9. Nine nine. Looks like Kawhi Leonard is going to be out for the remainder of this series. And if they wow. make it past Utah, then maybe the rest of the postseason. Well, this is uh, this is Paul George's chance to not be playoff P anymore. To be a different type of playoff P. Playoff P. A different type. We'll see. Another. I've always really liked Paul George. I thought he's so good, but another developing story in the NBA: Chris Paul to enter COVID protocols. I saw that. That's wild. I'm shocked. Dusty with some trivia. Oh, well. What was the last division in which three of the four primary starting quarterbacks all came from the same college? All of the players are now retired, and all three in college started in Rose Bowl games. Yikes. I would guess that you have got the NFC West with Matt Leinart, Matt Barkley, and who was that third one? I was. I don't know why, but Matt Liner was the first one to come to mind. USC. They had USC Matt has the most Barkley. quarterbacks. I know that. They had Matt Liner, Matt Barkley, and they had one more. Where did this is going to sound crazy? I don't think I'm right at all. Where did Kurt Warner go to college? Kurt Warner was a junior college guy. I want to say, like Kurt Warner. University of Northern Iowa. Iowa. I forgot that. Yes. Well, high V guy. What is it called? I just said high V. That's where he, where he bagged groceries. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. After his college career. I always think that's kind of funny. I like that you look at Kurt Warner education. They give you University of Northern Iowa, and then they give you his middle school that he went to underneath. Oh, I see. High school is the only thing that comes up really? until I click on a different link. Yeah. I see Kurt Warner Education. It says Regis Middle School. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Bob, a little personal action for that uh, Dan the Man. If we Bob. could get a box number for you, Bobby we can break that Bobby. open. You have your pick of the litter all the way up to number 50, my man. You can take 13 through 50 with no 15. Slime wants 44. All right, let me grab 44 here from the pile. I feel like an old man. Why is that? I was like so slow. 44? 44, we want some more. We got it in there. Here you go, Bob. Oh, that was big right now. Bunch. Not USC or Weiner. Okay, what about... What about some Notre Dame quarterbacks, Donnie? Brady Quinn? I was thinking Brady Quinn, but there's no one else in that division that was from Notre Dame. Well, they had Cle those Cleveland Browns. Yeah, so that would be Steelers, Ravens, and, uh, ooh. Why could I not think of this other team? Personnel. A personnel. Not Brady Quinn in Notre Dame. Rats. All right, all right. What about... All right, Robert with 44. Go ahead, give us a hint, Dusty. We're going to get this eventually. Before we do this, knock down that Dutch auction on the Meatball yeah. Hardman a little bit more. There you go. It's going to 75 bucks. Ooh. That doesn't a help head, me at all. A head coach. Head coach at the college that he played for. Head coach Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh. Mich. He went to Michigan. Yeah, and he was a Bears starting quarterback. Bears starting quarterback, Michigan. Who else went to Michigan in the NFC North? At that at that time. At that time. Right? 
Elvis. Oh, it was not a bear. It was a charger. Oh, that's a good trivia question, man. That's a hard one, Dusty. Elvis Gerbach? Brian Greasy? I have never heard of Elvis Gerbach. I'm not going to lie to Any you. Any name with G-R in, in the start? G-R-B. G-R-B? No vowel there? <laughs> this seems like they shortchanged him a letter. Yeah. <laughs> Just a typo on his birth certificate, actually. Gerbach. All right, Robert, here you go. We're talking about... Famous college quarterbacks. You got one of the more famous ones. Here we go. The Chargers variation of this one. Look, we were maybe going to hit a little Washington State pull. This is an interesting one. This is obviously a conversational piece. Ryan Leaf. Mr. Leaf. Ryan Leaf. Washington State Cougar. Going to Robert B. there. All right, Stevie, two jobs come and snag this one. Ryan Leaf. You can obviously stir the pot with this one a little bit, I think. Best colors in football. You know. I have to say it, Donnie. I have to. You know to. what, though? I'm you know obligated crazy? to at this point. You know what's crazy? What's crazy? You don't. You don't have to say it. I'm contractually obligated. That's in your contract here? <laughs> you worked that into your deal? I did. I did. In NFL history, how many players have served in the military? Pat Tillman. I think we had this question yesterday as well. Antonio Villanueva, right, for the Steelers. I think he was a military guy. I could be wrong there completely. Side note, yesterday I walked into a Army surplus store. He did? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> We just for fun, or no, are we looking just, for something? Dude, I want kind of want to get like some dog tags. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Stephen Myers is calling out some box numbers. Do we fill up another Dan the Man? I don't think so. Oh, I think that's his answer. His guess for the question. Oh, how many players served in the military? He guessed sixteen or seventeen. I see what you're cooking up over there, Stephen. your answer. That really stinks for the Clippers. Although I will be fair and I will say that I did not think they were going to win at all. Oh, they must have saw the question yesterday. Yeah. So let's look them up. Danny, what's the Bucks Nets series at? Is it three two now? I will check right now. I can check. Oh, I got. You. I'm already on ESPN. I've got you beat, boy. Oh, Sid Luckman. It's three two. I got you beat. Three two Bucks. Three two Bucks. No, three two Nets. Nets right? Three two Nets. Sid Luckman. What is? Rocky Blyer. Chuck Bednarik, good player. George McAfee. Roger Staubach, we have Paul Hornig, we had Chad Hennings. Chad Hennings is the best football player to ever come out of the Air Force Academy. Okay. For some football helmet knowledge, if you want an Air Force helmet or something like that. I bet they got some pretty cool helmets. Pat Tillman. Uh, Alejandro Villanueva, what I said, I had his long, first name wrong. Yeah. Dude, it must be, it must be like... Dude, you gotta be the manliest individual ever. Ever! Ever, ever. To go from the military to the NFL. Or vice versa. Or vice versa, yeah. That's crazy. Did you. I, I think we talked about it before. Did you hear about that guy that got denied his request? Cool. He went to. I think he went to Navy this year. Good. Went undrafted in the draft. The okay. Bucks tried to sign him, so he requested, he goes, hey, can I put off my assignment until I figure out if I can do this NFL thing? And they said no. You have to go? You, had to you go? have to go serve. They told him no. After the Bucks tried to sign him. I thought that was kind of a bummer for him. Kind of a bummer for him, indeed. 
one of the only four teams that in this century since 2000 haven't used a first round pick on a quarterback. Patriots. Patriots. Packers. Right? Yes, they didn't pick Jordan Love first round last year. And Aaron Rodgers was not in the first round, was he? Was he? I don't think so. Um, did the Vikings? Not Packers. Did, not Packers. Did the Vikings use one on uh, Teddy? Maybe. Cardinals. They picked Kyler Murray. <laughs> Rodgers would pick twenty-four. Cards picked Murray number one, I think. Yeah. Two or three years ago. Um. Vikings with Teddy and Christian Ponder. Ouch. The only way they get to push it back is if they get drafted. Okay, that makes sense, Tony. Thank you for that insight. I did not know that. Um, I didn't know there was a contract before, like when you were in school. All right, who we got? So we got Patriots. Oh, Chris Saints. is Chris is googling again. That's a good one, Chris. Saints. Chris continues to Google answers. <laughs> what about what about the Forty Niner? This year, Trey Lance. Duh. Saints is a good one. Okay, so Saints today. We're looking for one more. Oh, and Alex Smith. How could I forget that? Oh, Seahawks, great. Two more. Seahawks, okay, because, yeah, Russell, wasn't Russell in, like, the fourth round? I want to say, I don't think he was a first-round pick. Something crazy. Oh. That is a fantastic Seahawks, point. Wow. It's only three teams now with Mac Jones. All right. Um... We're both sitting like this right now. So we're looking for one more. One more, Donnie. Who is it? It is the... Not the Detroit Lions. Because it's... Ravens! The, nope, Ravens. Lamar Jackson was Second the last... Round. Nope. Second round. Last right. pick of the first round. Wrong. Last pick of the first round. Kyle right? Brown. Lamar Jackson was number 31 or 32. Right? Chargers, wrong, Justin Herbert. Wrong, Chris. Can't Google it, yep. Chris. 30 wrong. seconds pick for Lamar, so it's not him. What about the Steelers? Bucks pick Jameis Winston first. Yep. How about the Steelers, Dusty? Bucks. Steelers, great guys. I think it's, I'm feeling good about the Steelers. Was Ben first? Yeah, you're right, he was. Seventh overall for Ben in the 2004 draft. Um, Panthers took Cam. Bears starting quarterback played for this team previously. Cowboys? Bengals, no. Cowboys. Wasn't Dak a later round pick, but Tony Romo was undrafted, so I like Ooh, the Cowboys. Cowboys is correct. I like the Cowboys. There we go. Yeah, Chris Cheerios. Okay, Google that one. <laughs> oh, Donnie, you're funny. Right. Dropping the Dutch auction. 65 bucks on the Miko Hardman. 65 bucks. Hard, give it a few more minutes as well see if we can fill up anything else for today's rendition of some ua live breaks i won't lie to you donnie yeah it's been a little slow yeah it's been a little slow it's all right which college has the most quarterbacks start in a super bowl super bowl michigan is that what you're gonna say i have no idea does Tom Brady start for nine or count for nine or Northern one? Northern Iowa. 
Um, the Virginia Commonwealth. How about how about like a? It's gonna be old, old guys. What about? I mean, it's not. I mean, USC gives you the best chances because I think they've had Notre the most quarterbacks Dame. drafted. Notre Dame is up there as well. FSU. If Jamie was in the Super Bowl, maybe. Ooh, I thought, Miami's. I thought great Miami. Guess. They were more That's like. That's a great guess. I feel like they had everybody but a good quarterback. Miami. Yeah. Like I feel like their teams were unbelievable. I couldn't name a single Miami quarterback. Jim Kelly. Was Jim Kelly my, the U? Okay. And uh, Vinny Testaverde. Okay, so. Right. Because I don't. I don't think of. Like, when I think of Miami, I think of, like, the U. All three main Florida teams listed first. Cal is corrected. Cal. How many? Aaron Rodgers. I forgot he went to Cal. He looks like a Cal Jared Goff? Jared went to Cal? Don't sleep on Jared. All right, so that's two. And then I'm sure they've got some. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Cal, 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 Cal. I don't know anyone else that went to Cal. Um, yeah. I feel like Matthew Stafford went to Cal. He looks like a Cal guy. He's a Georgia guy. Georgia. Not that Matthew Stafford was in a Super Bowl, but... Right. <laughs> Probably some older guys we don't know. All right, guys. Looks like that may do it for this afternoon, huh, Dave? I think so. It's been about yeah, 15 minutes. 20-ish. Yeah. All well, right, thank guys. you guys for... I'm going to drop that uh, drop that Dutch auction down one more time. Last call on the Dutch auction. That is at its bottom dollar price of 60 bucks. 60 bucks, Miko Hard Mini, Clips Mini. about as cheap as you can find a mini for. I'll tell you that. Oh, Vince Mericano. You know what, man? What? Tell me, Donnie. What? I was going, I was at a, I was at like a, it's like an antique place, like a thrifter, not like a you thrift a store, but like an antique fun place. Fun all day yesterday. I did some random stuff. Yeah, I uh, I saw like those little Dutch wooden shoes. <laughs> I was gonna buy them. I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm not about. even kidding you. I was going to try them on in the store. Some clogs? Is that what those are called? I think so. No, I don't think that's what they're called. Wooden, like the wooden Dutch shoes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think they're called clogs. Oh yeah, clomping. <laughs> Dutch clogs. Yup. Yeah. Wood wood clogs. <laughs> clomping. Can you imagine? What would you Donnie, what would you do if I walked into the office? In clogs. Yes. <laughs> a couple of a couple of wooden shoes on my feet. Just doing like jumping jacks in the office. In 2020, I saw, I think, all time, it's between, like, Bam. California. Notre Dame. I think it's California, Texas, and Illinois are shockingly very NFL high players. up there on all-time NFL players. You got to think Alabama, a lot of people go to college there, but they come from other states. In 2020, the most NFL players got to be LSU. Is it college or state? Oh, state. It's I'm a state. Idiot. So where they were born or where they were from, where they went to college does not count. California. There's so many people there. Well, in California or Illinois? Maine. <laughs> the lovely state of Maine. It's got to be Florida. Dusty with the sleeper pick of Montana. Utah. Tony, let everybody know. We're going to call it for today, guys. I think that's going to do it. 
We'll leave that Dutch auction item there for a little bit. Dusty, I cannot wait. Florida with 194. Holy smokes. Smokes. 194 S in one year? Smokes. Wow. Sheesh. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for jumping in on some UA Live breaks. Thank Glad you guys, you guys can make it. Yeah, for your patience earlier, too. Yeah. We appreciate you hanging out through the technical difficulties and whatnot. We're going to sign it off right there. I'm Donnie. That's Dave. And we'll see you guys tonight for the 8 p.m. show starring Joe Aguilar and Garrett Campbell. Till next time, guys. We'll